Hi, I'm Mrs. Salgado, your student Spanish teacher. I would like to begin by saying that I'm very excited to be teaching your students at Baldi. They are very respectful and they seem very motivated to learn Spanish, which made me extremely happy. Second, I would like to talk about a little bit about myself. I am from Venezuela. I came here in 1997 to learn English as a second language. In 1998, I decided to become a teacher and I went to St. Joseph and I studied my master in education. In 1999, I, um, I got my first job as a teacher at the school district of Philadelphia. So meaning that I have been teaching for almost um, 22 years. That this would be my, my 22 year teaching. But it was only six years ago that I became a Spanish teacher at high school level. I have taught um, kindergarten, I have uh, taught um, bilingual education, ESO, regular education, and finally, uh, Spanish um, at high school level. And this is the first time that I'm teaching Spanish at middle school level. It made me really excited because I'm, I'm, I get to, um, to develop my own curriculum. In my family, and uh, this is my family. These are mis hijos, my children. And this is uh, Alba, Gabriel, and Eva. Gabe uh, is right now at Pitt. That, that this is his first his first year um, uh, studying a uh, civil engineer. It made me really proud. I also have a middle schooler, Eva. She's in eighth grade, and I have my little one, which is Alba. She um, with Alba, she, um, she's a uh, fourth grader. Um, the third thing that I would like to talk about is my expectations during the meeting. And in here, I, I really appreciate if you talk to your students about my expectations. Um, the first thing would be be on time. Uh, thanks God, we have been uh, um, good about this. The students are usually on time, maybe two minutes late. Which is, uh, which is fine. And um, the second thing is the camera. The camera um, has to be on, if possible. Uh, it is very important for me that they have the camera on because it, make, it, it makes me to uh, be a relationship with them. I'm able to get a connection with them. Besides, I can read their faces and know if they're understanding or not. So if that is possible, please encourage your student to have the camera on. Um, the third thing will be avoid distractions, such as food, uh, the, the pets, the siblings. The fourth thing will be um, a raise, a, that they raise their hand. That's why I want the camera on. They raise your hand if they have a question or they want to make a comment, they want to participate. Um, I would like them to raise their hand. The fifth would be to use the chat with, uh, in Google. Um, meet, we have a chat, and sometimes the students uh, don't use them as a, with a, a, for educational pur purposes. For example, they would chat, hey, so-and-so, do you want to um, go outside after, after we finish this meeting? So that, that's what I'm trying to avoid. Um, the sixth um, thing would be to always try their best, to try always their best. Um, I always tell them, that if they make a mistake, uh, it's good because they will learn from their mistake. And the last thing that they wait for me uh, to dismiss them before they leave. Um, about the Spanish curriculum, the general objective that that is for seventh uh, to eighth grade, um, it is that uh, your student, they are gonna be able to become cultural aware of other cultures by comparing and contrasting their own culture with the Hispanic culture. Also, they will explore traditions and current holidays. And, uh, and of course, they will learn common phrases and vocabulary to be able to have conversations in Spanish. So for the grade, for the different, for each grade, it looks different. Why? For sixth grade, I only see them uh, one quarter. That's why we only have two units. And that would be uh, the greetings and farewell. They will learn the alphabet and, and the syllables in Spanish. And the last unit, that will be colors, numbers, the day of the week, and the day of the month. 
and obviously the, the, the holidays and, and the traditions too. For seventh grade, we have four units because I see them half of the year. So besides unit one and two that we talked uh, that, that talk about already, we have unit three and unit four. Unit three is the classroom and school life, the day of the week and the scratches. And unit four is about family. For eighth grade, we have seven units. Why? Because I see them the whole year. So besides having uh, unit one to four that I already talked about, we have three more units, which is unit five, which uh, we will learn about sports, hobbies, places in the city. Unit six will be travel, vacation, seasons, and, and, and the weather. And the last one is clothing and shopping. So that would be, and um, for eighth grade, um, the second half of the year, we're gonna learn more grammar because I want to prepare them for Spanish at high school level so that they are able to apply for AP classes or for the IB program, which both uh, the AP and the IB, they offer college credit. Um, I used to teach the IB program and they offer, for example, 12, um, uh, college credits. So that is uh, my idea for, for eighth grade to prepare them to succeed at high school. And that's all that I have to say. Thank you so much for watching and have a good uh, evening. Bye.